Hey guys, welcome back. So QuantumScape have just had their battery showcase and there is some big news. It looks like the breakthrough in the lithium battery has been confirmed. Now, why is this important? Well, it's because this could impact every single future electric vehicle as they all use a lithium battery. This news did send the stock price through the roof overnight and since the IPO the stock is now up over 150%. So could this be the next EV stock that explodes? Well, it's looking good. If you don't yet know who QuantumScape are, I did do an introduction video which you can find here, so maybe check that one out first. In this video, I wanted to cover the news from the battery showcase. Now, the presentation was a 90 minute video, so this video, I've kind of chopped things up and I've just included all of the best highlights. We'll get up to speed on the company. I'll show some of the battery improvements. We all hear from business owners about how good their products are. However, what's really exciting about this is that I'm gonna show you a clip from the person who co-created the lithium battery. And he recently won the Nobel Prize in chemistry for his efforts. I'll also show you a clip of JB Straubel, and he is the co-founder of Tesla, and their reactions to this are amazing. Now, I will link to the full 90 minute presentation video. You'll find that below this video for anyone who wants to dig into the details. This will be just a very quick overview 10 minute video of the most important parts. As always, if you do find anything in this video useful, just one favor, if you could drop a like, that would be much appreciated. Okay, sit back and relax guys. Here is the big news from the recent QuantumScape battery showcase. Okay, so here is what we've got coming up. We're first gonna do a quick overview of the QuantumScape value proposition and a little bit about the company. We'll then take a look at these key battery improvements. And then we'll finish with some reactions of the experts. It's one thing hearing a business owner saying how good their products are, but it's another thing hearing the co-creator of the lithium battery and a Nobel Prize winner saying how good this product is, and also a co-founder of Tesla. So first up, the value proposition. QuantumScape, so this is a company that was founded just over 10 years ago, so it's been 10 years in the making. Their big thing is this next generation lithium battery. The company mission is to revolutionize energy storage to enable a sustainable future. The good thing is that it was backed early on by Bill Gates. He saw the opportunity. And also they've got this co-founder of Tesla who's now advising on the board. Another good thing is 2018 Volkswagen invested a hundred million dollars. But what's even more important is that recently Volkswagen invested another 200 million dollars. These batteries are hoping to be mass produced by 2024. So this is the big opportunity in a picture. Basically, there's approximately 100 million vehicles that are being produced every single year, but only 2% of them are actually electric. So this means there's gonna be a whole lot of electric cars to cater for. And it's estimated that this is going to be a $500 billion market. Okay, so let's see a quick clip about the company. The climate crisis is disrupting our way of life, and transportation is producing a quarter of the world's climate changing emissions. We need more electric vehicles on the road as quickly as possible. Today's EVs aren't appealing enough to many drivers, and a big reason for that is their lithium ion batteries don't work like we want them to. Solid state batteries with a lithium metal anode can solve the problems with lithium ion batteries. They can provide longer driving range, faster charging, longer life, safer operations, and lower costs. Battery scientists know this and have been working on solid state designs for decades. But it's hard to make solid-state batteries work. To be useful in EVs, solid-state batteries need four key characteristics. They need high current density, which lets them charge quickly. Today's solid-state designs only work at low current densities, making them basically useless in commercial applications. They can't have too much lithium built in. Excess lithium results in less energy being stored. They need to last. 
Some solid state designs can fail after charging and discharging just a few hundred times. To be commercially useful, these batteries need to last through hundreds of thousands of miles of driving. And they need to work at low temperatures. Some designs only work at high temperatures, meaning they need big expensive heaters attached to them, making them impractical for EVs. The best battery scientists and some of the largest automakers and consumer tech companies in the world have tested our batteries in their own labs and seen what they can do. I'm proud to release the results of our tests to the public for the very first time. Our batteries are the next step in solid state technology that will power the next generation of electric vehicles. I can't wait to tell the world more. So what are the breakthroughs that have been made? Well, it's pretty much in every single category. So the energy is much more dense, which is more efficient. One of the big things is this fast charge. So you're going to be able to do an 80% charge in only 15 minutes. And currently this is not possible. The life of the battery has also been improved as well. It's also much safer, so this solid state separator is non-flammable and also non-combustible. And by eliminating some of the parts, it's also a reduction in costs as well. And to fully understand all of these improvements, here is another quick clip. Solid state batteries with a lithium metal anode have the potential to address the fundamental trade-offs associated with lithium ion batteries. They are designed to enable longer driving range, faster charging times, longer life, safer operations, and lower costs. Battery scientists know this and have been working on solid state designs for decades, but it has proven to be very hard to make solid state batteries work until now. There are four major challenges of making an effective solid state lithium metal battery for electric vehicles. One, the battery needs to be able to charge rapidly. Perhaps the most important challenge for a solid state battery is the ability to withstand the rates of power that are required for fast charging. As the battery charges, the solid state separator is stressed by the high current passing through. If the separator can't handle the current density, lithium metal dendrites will puncture through, short circuiting the cell. Quantum scape batteries have a ceramic separator that has been shown to withstand the current density required for a 15 minute fast charge. Two, the battery needs to last the life of the vehicle. Many solid state batteries fail after only a couple of hundred cycles. Quantum scape cells have been tested to show cycle life exceeding the automotive requirement of 800 cycles, which would allow for hundreds of thousands of miles of driving for a long range BEV. Three, the battery needs to operate across the entire automotive temperature range. Many solid state designs require the battery to be kept at elevated temperatures in order to operate. This increases the complexity and cost of the battery pack and vehicle. The QuantumScape solid state lithium metal battery operates across the entire automotive temperature range, simplifying the design of the pack. Four, the battery must minimize how much excess lithium it has on the anode. Many solid state designs require a layer of excess lithium between the separator and the anode electrical contact to make it easier to deposit lithium on the anode and prevent dendrites from forming. However, that excess lithium layer has two negative effects, loss of energy density, since that excess lithium doesn't store energy but takes up space, and increased cost due to the need to handle lithium metal directly in the manufacturing process. Since quantum scape cells are manufactured without an anode, the cells have zero excess lithium, maximizing energy density and simplifying the manufacturing process. By successfully testing cells that overcome these challenges, QuantumScape has shown that solid state batteries can enable the next generation of electric vehicles. QuantumScape, the future is solid. And as mentioned, time to hear the reactions from the experts. So we won't listen to all of these as they were in the full presentation. I'll just show you the one from Dr. Stanley Whittingham. So this is the co-inventor of the lithium ion battery. And then we'll finish with J.B. Strawball. As mentioned, he is the co-founder of Tesla. First up, Dr. Stanley Whittingham, co-creator of the lithium battery and now a Nobel Prize winner. Thank you. Um, it's been now almost half a century since we built the first lithium batteries at Exxon. Um, these use pure lithium metal and a liquid electrolyte, giving the highest energy density of any battery at that time. However, within a few years, for safety reasons, we had to switch away from pure lithium and go to a lithium alloy. This reduced the energy density. And since that time, and that was, I would say, the mid 70s, late 70s, when we switched to the alloy, a number of companies have tried to use metallic lithium with a liquid electrolyte. None have been a commercial success. So it remains the holy grail in the battery area to go back to metallic lithium. And one clear way of doing that is 
to use a solid electrolyte. Um, the use of a solid electrolyte is not easy. Um, the effort in solid electrolytes is increasing fast. It looks very encouraging, but one has to be very, very careful because there's much more hype in the literature than there is meat. And so really nothing has changed since Edison made his comments a long time ago about don't believe anything you read about batteries. <laughs> you know, they're worse than snake medicine. So I'm in, very encouraged by what I've heard in the last few days. It looks like there's real progress at quantum scape and that we're about to make the breakthrough because if we can use a solid electrolyte, use lithium metal, we can essentially at least increase energy density by 50%, if not 100%. And this will be a breakthrough for electric vehicles as well as other storage. I have not seen data this good anywhere else. So I, no, I think it's a real breakthrough. We just have to make the cells bigger and get them into cars. And lastly, we're going to hear from J.B. Straubel, and he was a co-founder and back then the chief technology officer at Tesla. It's, in it's incredibly exciting to see these results and, and what the team has achieved. And um, you know, Venkat you know, touched on this tiny bit, um, but you know, so much of the performance uh, operating window that modern EVs have it is really built around avoiding lithium plating. <laughs> and, you know, I, I think the team at Tesla, you know, did an amazing job, you know, through the years, you know, you know, optimizing inside of that window to build a product that had, you know, incredible, you know, performance and incredible characteristics. And this is, you know, part of why EVs are succeeding as they are. But, you know, all of, all of these little edge cases, you know, where the, the product is limited, you know, this is what that, this is, this technology can really break through that. Um, you know, the, the reason that, you know, supercharging, you know, has to taper off and the reason you can't, you know, maintain a fast charge rate, you know, all the way up to high states of charge, largely lithium plating is a problem. Um, the reason you can't have, you know, fast charge at low temperature, also a similar problem. And, you know, there, so many of these different issues, you know, were, were basically blocked by, you know, the limitations of, you know, the, the anode structure in today's lithium ion batteries. So, to me, this, this fundamentally puts, you know, the, the, the lithium chemistry battery on kind of a different roadmap, you know, for innovation. You know, things have been optimized and, and you know, made into a, a really, really, you know, finely tuned machine, you know, over the last, you know, 25 years. Um, but it, it's beginning to asymptote a little bit. And, you know, every year, the improvements that have been coming are slightly smaller and they're a little bit harder to, harder to achieve. So, you know, seeing these kind of performance numbers is, is you know, almost unheard of, you know, a 50% improvement, you know, roughly in energy density volumetric is incredible. You know, when we're used to seeing things that are, you know, single digit percents um, per year, and, you know, that, that was, you know, hard to achieve and, and a great outcome. So jumping to something like 50% is, is game changing. And, you know, also, you know, maybe worth pointing out that, you know, those kind of energy density, power density and charge rates, you know, unlock a host of other applications that have currently been kind of waiting in the wings, you know, for for the, the proper sufficient performance metrics. I mean, electric aviation, you know, starts to look a whole lot more attractive and viable um, over a wider set of mission, you know, ranges and durations and everything else, you know, when you have this kind of uh, energy density and, and power. Um, so I, I guess, you know, to me, it, it's, it's incredibly exciting, you know, and these kind of uh, improvements don't come very often. And, um, you know, I, I also kind of have an inherent skepticism on this stuff after seeing so many, you know, so many incredible claims from battery, you know, startup companies and research groups and, um, you know, other panelists mentioned this, but, you know, so often, you know, there's one very specific claim, you know, highlighted in isolation. And, you know, it, it's taken out of context. You know, th this is really a full collection of different performance data across a, a relevant range, an automotive relevant range of conditions. Um, that makes it so interesting. You know, that, that, that really is, is the, the, the major breakthrough. So there you are, guys. Exciting news coming out from the QuantumScape battery showcase. It appears like the breakthrough improvements to the lithium battery have been confirmed. So this would make it an excellent investment opportunity. And for me, it was when one of the co-creators of the lithium battery was saying himself that this was a big deal. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As mentioned, I will link the full 90 minute presentation below this video for all the people that want to dig into the details. Just one favor to ask, if you did find anything in this video useful, be sure to drop a like. That would be much appreciated as every like does help. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to click below and join us. I do have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Okay, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.